Good morning. Welcome to YouTube here with Luminous Cosmetics. Renee here, going to walk you through everything that you need to know about airbrushing. And because this is my 10 o'clock and my last live for the day, we're going to be doing full face makeup. So I'm excited that you're here. I'm excited that you're joining us. If you're just joining us, please drop a comment, say, hey, I wanna know who you are, I wanna see you. So please, please, please do so. If you're loving our videos, please be sure. Hi, Michelle, welcome. Please be sure to like our channel, subscribe, hang out with us because we have a ton of fun. So welcome, welcome. I'm excited seeing everybody hopping on right now. Uh, first things first, let's talk about the basics of the airbrush system that you get. So we are going to pop that guy up on the screen. We have our Icon Pro, I mean our Icon system here. It's going to include a blush, two foundations, and our product called Love. So it's really uh, an all-in-one. You can completely get your look from just doing this. Um, you also can just add a little bit of mascara and a little lip color, and it really does complete a full look. So if you're just joining us, say hey, because I'm so excited that you're here. This is exactly why I come live every day to see all of you. So um, hi, Amber, welcome back. Always so good. I love to say I can uh, see, see you here joining us, love to see your faces, but I see some people have a little icon on their little icon. Hi, Jennifer, yay, welcome back. Okay, oops, I'm gonna clip my hair back because my hair does fall on my face. So, um, okay, so before we get started, I wanna talk about something really easy to do. We had some questions earlier on our under eye area and I wanted to introduce you to this little guy. This is called Snapback. So the tiniest amount of this serum will hold so much of its weight in water. So it's going to help plump the fine lines around the eyes, all those little tiny lines. And if you can see, I am barely touching my skin. Good morning, Tracy, soul sister. So excited that you're here. We're gonna add the snapback around the eye area, or you can put this in any other area that you are concerned with, with fine lines, wrinkles, and I'm going to put some right through here. These are our marionette lines is what they are so affectionately called. And we're just gonna plump up that, that area. Good morning, good morning, welcome for, and thank you for joining, so excited that you're here. So we are gonna add our, ooh, my hair is just super fun today. Um, a great combination if you're concerned with any kind of anti-aging and wanting to have that smoother texture to the skin, this combo is so better. This one, Michelle, is before makeup because th these are skincare pieces. So you want to do your skincare before. Um, put on, I meant after makeup. No, you want to do that before. We have no makeup on right now. Hey, hey, Brenda. snapback product and I don't know if I would call it water-based it's a skincare product that is hyaluronic acid which is an important uh, moisture binder and humectant so yes Michelle you want to do your skincare first we have no makeup on yet we're going to do full face we're going to do um we're going to do all that hey Nancy welcome back okay I feel like I missed a question here but I want to hop over really quick Tracy, shoot, let me hear ya. Okay, so we have our hydrating serum everywhere. Um, I did start by cleansing my skin before I hopped on here with you guys. The super fruit cocktail, it is an enzyme cleanser. Enzyme cleansers are so fantastic because they help to dissolve using fruit enzymes, the dead skin on the surface of our skin, which can make our skin look dull and flat. So no makeup here, we're ready to get started. We also have our snapback on, again, under the eyes and anywhere where you're having, where you're feeling like these fine lines are creeping in. Okay, so first and foremost, 
let's get started with just the basics of our system. So popping this guy on again, this is what you're gonna get into in your box when you open up your kit. We have our system here. This is our icon system. And all you have to do is plug it in right out of the box. So it's really a simple, simple, um, you don't have to assemble anything. You don't have to do anything really. You just plug it in and go. First things first, you do start by practicing and how you can practice. Let me pop this guy up here on the screen. How you can practice is extremely, extremely simple. All you have to do is turn it on and start feeling that product against the skin. And by product, you don't even need actual makeup in there. You can just turn the air on and feel it. If you notice here, we have these four suggestions and we wouldn't say rules because there really aren't any rules, but we have four suggestions over here on how to get the best results from your airbrushing. So you wanna keep it moving, always. You wanna stay four finger widths from your skin and you wanna barely pull back on the trigger when you're ready. So to get comfortable, you can start with water. You can just use air. And just start feeling it. It also, sometimes I drift away, so, so sorry. I come back because it feels so good on my skin. It just feels calming and soothing. And it's just like a little bit of a daily massage for me. The combination of anti-aging for Luminesque. You definitely want to exfoliate, so you can use our super fruit cocktail or our bamboo polish. Um, you also can use our snapback serum, which is out of control. It's like my favorite. I mean, you can see just smooth. It just feels really good on the skin, and it's super hydrating. Hydration is key when it comes to uh, anti-aging, I'm telling you. Exfoliation and hydrating two ways to ensure great anti-aging. Um, before we get started, I did have a request. Really, really, really a, a request to use a product called Eraser today. So we'll start with that. Not sure, Tracy. Um, I would love for you to email me and let me know what, what company you're talking about. We can chat offline about that one. I'm not sure about that. So, all right. We're going to start with our eraser. We're going to use one, two, three, four drops. It is recommended to use three to four drops. The eraser is great for redness, unevenness to the skin, and just evening out everything. You don't need a lot, it just blurs. And I'm gonna pop this really cool thing on my screen, but as you can see, it's just blurring any of those imperfections, but you don't see any makeup. So I have some darker spots on, the, on my forehead. Yes, Amber, stay, stay hydrated. No, Tracy, you're not going anywhere, girlfriend. We are here for the win. Okay. So that is the eraser. It just blurs. It just blurs any imperfection without that covering look. So check this out. Okay. Let me get rid of my ticker really quick. Let me get rid of my ticker because I think it's really important. All right. I created this amazing doc, like document, call it a document, but it's a great slide to show you guys what our concealers are all about. So eraser is one color. It's sheer. You use where needed. It neutralizes red, dull, and sallow skin, blurs imperfections, right? So then our X out is our next step up in coverage, our medium. It's for the under eye. It hydrates, reduce, reduces the appearance of fine lines and dark circles. And then our CC concealer is our most full coverage. And you want to use that where needed. So I know that there's a lot of options on our website. So this one is a great little snapshot to show you exactly what you might be needing because you might want all of them or you might not need all of that coverage. So we'll be showing that pretty frequently so that you can see the differences in those products. So we did do eraser today. Um, and if you want to, you can step it up and add a little bit more concealer. 
But let's get back to the task at hand. I'm gonna go into the products that come into our kit, which the first one I'm gonna use is Love. Now Love will come in a smaller, in a smaller little container because you're getting started and you just need a little bit. But I find that over time, everyone tends to pick up a little bit more love. So Little Love, it's a hydrating luminizer. Exactly, Jennifer. The point is, is to just see how it looks a little bit more even and there's not a makeup look. It just brightens and takes out the redness so that when we go into foundation, we don't need a lot of product. There's a little bit more eraser in here. See, I get some redness around my nose. It's funny, like I like I wear glasses, you would think I would. But it just takes away that redness. The intention of this product is not to see it. And that's what's beautiful about airbrush is that you actually don't see it. All right, we're going to use some love. Love is our hydrating luminizer. Now, if you've never used any airbrush product before, if you've practiced with air, you've practiced with water, then go ahead and start with love. You can put love under or on top. Um, Brenda, on silk, they're all neutral. All right, so I'm just using this underneath as a luminizer and I can wear this by itself. So it gives my skin a little bit more glow than just having the eraser on. It's also hydrating. Hello, we've been talking about that. Ding, ding, ding. Um, so hydration on the skin, keeping that softer, softening the appearance of fine lines. Nancy, did you know that all of our foundations are made right here in the US in Texas in our own manufacturing facility, which is so cool. So that's really, really cool. Any of our little airbrush products. Okay, so that's the love. Now I'm gonna, in your kit, you will receive two foundations and we do that on purpose because we want you to get comfortable using the foundation. We want you to get comfortable using um, just figuring out what works for you. So I'm gonna use the four. I'm gonna use the four because I've been using our tanning tonic. And so I'm gonna use one, two, three, four, five, six to get started and just go for it. What's great about it is that you wanna keep moving. It's just going to give you the most gentle coverage as you start to use it. And then if I want more coverage, I can come back and make another pass. So before we do blush, when do you use a primer? Now, Jennifer, you can use a primer. They are not required, but if you use a primer, you wanna do primers before you put anything with color on. Does that make sense? So if, if the product that you're using has color, your primer would go before it. So that's a really good rule of thumb. So skincare, clear, there's no color. Foundation, love, although when it comes on the skin, there isn't quote unquote color, but that is designed to sit on top of the skin, even though the quote unquote color is very less than just like a foundation, you wanna put your primer on before that. Now a primer is, Something like we have Velvet Veil, which you can use as a primer. We also have we also have our Prime and Protect SPF 30, but I'll show you what a primer is. Whoop. Okay, so primer, and then we'll get to blush and then we'll play. So primers are going to float over the skin, help to seal and fill in any fine lines, texture, it softens the appearance of texture. It also allows 
your makeup to sit on top of it instead of your skin instead of into your skin and it actually will let your makeup wear a lot longer so it becomes and you can see a smoother texture Ooh, let's see so you can see that smoother texture there good gracious i need a manicure okay so you definitely can see that there and then i'm going to show you on this side what's great about the velvet veil is that it is designed to work with airbrush makeup it works so beautifully with airbrush makeup so let me do a little blush and then we're going to do a little demo here on my hand talking about why it's important to keep your stylus moving why it's important to stay farther away and also how you only need to use a little bit so yeah jennifer let me show you our velvet veil because it seriously is just hands down hands down the best um it's literally the best ever because it will help to smooth soften it will get rid of the wrinkles it just is really an amazing product that will just you'll find that you'll love your makeup even more like seriously you'll love it even more so let me get in here and get to a link because I think it's really important to have the link so that you guys can see when you're on here shopping or away popping in there seeing what we have going on okay let's see Tracy my goodness I do have wrinkles Michelle you are a smart cookie auto ship is Perfect. I just popped that link in there because you're going to see how much money you're going to save when you do it on auto ship. All right, let's do a little blush. I'm going to do, I'm going to do a little blush. And then we're going to do a really fun demo and then we're going to do some makeup. I hope you guys are hanging out with me for a while because we're going to have some fun. Why can't I find the blush that I want? Okay. You know what? Let's use plum. Okay. All right. We're going to use plum. Yes. I think we all need to get our nails done a little bit. All right. So we're going to use plum. And I'm just going to put a few drops in there. One, two, three. And we're going to get some color going. So. If you have, a blush, you want to try a little bit at first because the product will bloom. So the color will get more intense over time. And by over time, I don't mean like a few weeks. I mean, just like in a few seconds. So as it sits there, do we have to clean what first, Jennifer? What do you have to clean first? Oh, no, you don't have to clean your stylus before you do the blush. You don't. All right. So we're having a little blush with plum. Now, the good thing about the blush is that if you feel like you use a little too much at first, no worries, because you can actually go back over it with your foundation. You can go back over it with love. You can add a luminizer. I mean, you can seriously go to town. So you don't have to clean it first, but you can um, just make sure that if you use your blush, you don't have any blush left if you're going to like maybe move to a like a concealer or something like that. And I'll give you the trick here. I always have a towel because if I have, you know, put too much color in there. Hey, Candy, we did eraser. Um, so you just want to make sure that you don't have anything left in there and you can try it on your hand first and make sure that it's not in there anymore. So I'm going to go into a really cool, I'm going to go into a cool application. So let's just do a demo and then we're going to do a quick eye, um, quick look to finish everything up for the day. But we're going to go into a demo and I used this color earlier. So we'll go back to that. We're going to use the amber luminizer 
So you can see it's a pretty intense color. I am going to just go crazy and put a ton in there because why not? Um, this is my hand that I use Velvet Veil on, and I'm going to show you what it looks like to create passes. Thank you, Amber. We're just going to create some passes, which means I'm going to go over this same area a few times. And you can see I'm kind of making a circle. And that's why we want to make sure that we are being even with our application. And these are passes. So this is where you're going to get coverage. So if you want more coverage, <laughs> Brenda, did you get eight eyeshadows? Uh, Jennifer, this is a illuminizer. It's just a little bit of a glowy finisher. You can use it as eyeshadow. You can use it as um, a highlight. So you can see the passes are creating more coverage and making it more intense, right? But this is why we say stay far away. So as you can see, I'm staying far away. I'm moving. So I'm having great even coverage here. It looks smooth from top to bottom. Uh, candy, where I have some redness or unevenness? It is amber. All right, so this is why we don't want to get too close. So you can see this right over here, this side is where we're too close. And this is if we don't move. So we get drippy. So as you can see, nice and even on this side, drippy. And I don't know what that is on the top. It's, an, it's a hot mess. So this is a great demo on why we want to stay far enough away. We want to keep moving. And the more that we go over in the same area, it doesn't necessarily get heavier. It just gets more opaque. That means we can't see through it as much, which gives us coverage. Um, you guys can put this one on your list. The luminizers are great. I'm using this color just as a demo. Um, for me, this one isn't really a color I would necessarily wear myself. But it's a little too coppery for me. But you can see the difference in why we do what we do. Now, if you, we would never ever need this much, but for, for all intents and purposes, we are just showing. So this one is going to be pretty wet. So your product really shouldn't be wet when you are using it because you don't need that much. It's just going to cover. This was a demo. So just showing you what that's all about. Taking this beautiful. Do you guys have these? Do you have these? Oh my goodness. Watch this. Wait. So you see, like it's gone. One swipe, like ready to go. Hydrated. Doesn't burn my eyes. Just, it's just amazing. What would you call unevens? Yes, for sure. I mean, you definitely can control that coverage. Now, after you do your, you want to make sure you're using a tip top, you're cleaning, pop the tip top into your auto delivery because it really, you don't want to run out of it. It just goes back behind you and cleans out your stylus. So, Yes, Tracy, I love our makeup remover our cloths. They are just, they're hydrating. You don't feel really like dark, like you don't feel like really like dried out after it. So just go ahead and wipe that out. And you're ready to go for tomorrow. Because one time I did this and didn't clean it out before. All right. Let's do some, let's do some makeup and we're going to just do a nice, quick, easy look because we're going to finish it up. I'm going to use our brown eyebrow pencil. I'm going to just fill in my brows. Brows seriously are the big, big game changer. It is Tracy. It's so hydrating. Jennifer, what do you mean? What just stopped? 
All right. Filling that in, just giving myself a little bit of definition there. And then on the back end of our brow product is a gel. So it's a tinted gel that is just going to put everything in place. Okay, we're gonna do a really beautiful eye. How much are they? Yes, we do have that in place for sure with the, it will turn itself off because we don't want you to accidentally leave it on and then you just leave your airbrush system on, you know what I mean? Well, Jennifer, you know, that will, that will cause it to turn off. So, okay. So let's get into our eyeshadow. I'm going to use our optics palette. Have you guys seen this? I'm in love with this. I just love how soft and subtle it can be, but I also can get some drama in it. So I'm just going to start with an all over color. I just dropped a bronzer or something. Okay. So I'm going to start with an all over color. And I'm gonna use Crystal, which is like a soft pink. And we're gonna blend it up. Jennifer, as much as we make beautiful, reliable products, we do ask you to keep them plugged in. We do. I know. It's crazy. All right. So we started with crystal. That's this pinky tone here. And then I'm going to go into reflection. Whoop. This guy right here. I'm going to just buff this into my natural crease. So really just help define my natural crease, nothing too crazy. Yes, Jennifer, you're gonna be so hot. You know what, I can't tell if you're really excited about everything or you just have your cap clock on. Anybody else, anybody else is it just me? She's super excited about everything or she just have her cap clock on. Okay, Andy, I can't wait. Um, an unboxing would be amazing. All right, so just getting some color on there. I'm kind of going with my look. Um, I think I'm gonna use one of these purples. So I'm gonna use my finger and I'm gonna use ultraviolet on my lid. I'm feeling a little 80s today. I don't know why, but I love it. I love, <laughs> I thought so. I was like, she's very excited, very excited. All right, what do you think? So when I use, when I put the color on with my finger first, then I come back in and I buff it and I can use, a little bit of that same color to just soften it into the crease. You know, there's seriously something about makeup that just makes us so happy. Like it makes us so happy. It doesn't matter if I, I mean, there are nights that I put makeup on and here is my little tidbit about myself in case you guys were wondering. I love to put makeup on before I go to bed. I mean, not like, and then wear it to bed, but I will put it on. Okay, guys, and then I just added Spectrum, this guy. Okay. 
Yes, yes, yes. So I love, I'm loving this look today. I love the colors. I just love having that. Just like, I love doing some bright colors every now and then. I usually do like so many. So many like smoky, dark, all of that. But you know what? Every now and then a little bit of pop is fun. So, okay. So back to doing my makeup before I go to bed. I totally do my makeup before I go to bed, wash it off because it's the perfect time to practice. Because if you're practicing right before you go to bed, you're not rushing. You don't have anywhere to go. You don't have to worry about if it messes up because you're just practicing. And it's just fun. And then you feel really good. And then you like, you're like, okay, whatever. I'm going to wear this crazy lip color because it doesn't matter. You're going to bed. So who cares? All right. Let's set our makeup with a little bit of translucent powder. That is grab this guy. Um, sheer perfection, translucent. Uh, Tracy, your eyelashes will last as long as you take care of them. So I mean, we're talking 30, 50 wears if you are taking care of them, taking care of the glue, making sure that you are cleaning the area, keeping your case clean, you know, take care of them like a child. All right. So we're going to add a little bit of our demure blush because I love to wear all kinds of blush, multiple colors, multiple layers. So we're going to add a little bit of that blush here because I, because why not? Right. All right. Perfect, Tracy. Yep. If you take care of them, they will come back. And I mean, they will. You definitely can use them. Um, where did I get my makeup, uh, my education on makeup? So um, many years ago, uh, about how old am I now? About 15 years ago, I took a makeup course. I took a makeup course and I started doing makeup for different um, retailers, makeup companies. I also took a makeup course as a um, certification in the state of Maryland to have a makeup license, very similar to nail, like a nail um, place or any other place where you need a certification, like estheticians, what have you. So I had. Oh, I feel like I have a little too much lip balm on right now. My only concern with sanitizing them is um, just make sure they are natural fiber. So you're going to have some that are human hair, some that are silk. So we have to just be careful that we don't dry them out. All right. So I'm going to use our captive lip pencil in Blackberry. Yeah, so it's kind of like that, Nancy. And then I took a course. And then for about 11 years, I spent my time working at makeup counters. I was a, reg a regional trainer for a few different brands. So I spent a lot of time doing makeup. I've done, have had some different experience doing some runway, some print work, just some different options in makeup mediums. All right, and then I'm just added a little bit of our blush jasmine uh, liquid obsession lipstick with our blackberry lip pencil. And I blended them together to have like a plummy lip. Yes, Tracy, keep that cart running. 
And whenever you're ready to check out, you know exactly what we've talked about. I like to throw you guys some links sometimes, make it easier to find some of our products. Uh, luminousbeauty.com is, luminousbeauty.com is where you can find all of these amazing cosmetics. You can see all of the fun stuff that we're trying and using. And we are just here to show you all of the great products that we have, how to use them, different ways. So I'm here um, in the mornings and then we have our other makeup artist, Heather. She is here in the afternoons to help you get comfortable using your airbrush system, to get you acclimated to the product, to help you feel really comfortable with it. And you know what? We actually do some makeup too. So we have some fun doing that as well. So we just did an awesome look. I love this look. I think it has a little bit of 80s flair to it, but I love that purpley tone. I always take my hair down before I say goodbye because I want you guys to see what it actually looks like all together. So, oh no, you got your cart deleted. Ooh. Okay. All right. So let me just, I feel like I need a little bit there. Okay. So screenshotting is a great idea. And yes, Nancy, lots of experience, lots of hands-on, lots of trial and error as we're learning to do makeup. And the beauty of makeup is that it's very different than trying to be like a tattoo artist. If you mess up, um, it's a little bit more permanent than, uh, than what we got going on. So yeah, you guys are... Thank you so much for joining us. We, I'm so happy that you guys have decided to spend your mornings with me. We did all airbrush in the beginning, just getting used to what we have in our kits. Then we stepped it up, started playing with a little bit more color. We wrapped this look up. I love it. I think it has such a great brightness and a little pop to it, but it's not like too much or out of control. And, um, oh, I love blue. I All right, before I go, I wanna just do one last final thing. Final seal. So I am going to, oops, see, this is what I do. I clip my hair back, I take it down, I clip it back. Okay, I'm just gonna set my makeup. Now this is an amazing setting spray that is just going to finish off your look. It's going to, oop, I had to clean it. It's gonna finish the look. We're just going to have a little bit of a mist it's going to be waterproof, water sweat proof. It's just gonna make your makeup last all day. I also have that same option in the airbrush form, which is one of my favorites. So there we go. Love that. Finish it off, airbrush, like waterproof, sweat proof, ready to go. Thank you so much for tuning in. It was so great to see everyone. I will be back tomorrow morning. Heather comes back at noon and she's going to start from the very beginning too. So if you need some of those basics, just let us know. Thanks for tuning in. Oh, I lost my banner. Thanks for tuning in. If you ever need anything from us, please feel free. Send me an email. I'd love to chat with you and thank you for your time. We'll see you later, guys.